Overall, obviously, we're going to be critical of Schalke, but this is just kind of an inevitability of the league a little bit, isn't it? The biggest team with the biggest budget, with the best players, are going to win matches like this as convincingly as they did. Yeah, there is a, a quite a big discrepancy when it comes to um, budgets. Um, the bigger teams have more quality, and over a, a season of 34 games, that is in the Bundesliga, um, you're going to see that quality in, in, you know, in, in points and in the table. So no surprises tonight, and I think it'll be interesting to see how Bayern um, will be able to take this momentum throughout this long and, and really, really uh, difficult season. It's going to be very taxing physically. Jan Fjortov also joins us as well. Jan, how does this result affect Jaden Sancho to um, Manchester United? We're probably going to Jan, obviously you're a, you're a big supporter of the Bundesliga. You, we, we see you support it a lot. But these games don't help particularly, do they? No, it's embarrassing. It's, first of all, it's embarrassing for, for Schalke, of course, because this... This was, as Craig said, uh, early doors. I mean, how they went into this game. I mean, there could be excuses for Bayern being a very good team, taking off the pressure from Barcelona, losing 8-2 to, to these uh, reigning champions. But still, it's terrible. I mean, we can make fun of it. We can say it's the treble against the trouble in Schalke. They have a lot of depth. Uh, I had them to go down this season. and I put that into yesterday, and I have proof for that. I think Schalke will big-time struggle. But as you said, Dan, for the German Bundesliga presenting themselves for the world, it, this is bad, bad for them. But it can't be that Bayern's going to get weaker. It's yeah. going to be the other teams getting better. The problem I've got, and Jürgen touched on it, the problem I've got is we could have been easily talking about 12 or 13 here. Mm, yeah. that's the, that's the, I've not got a problem with teams getting beat. We've all played in teams that have been beaten, right? The problem I've got is by how much this should have been. And I, I don't always look at managers because as a professional footballer, when you go two or three down or even four down like that and you know it's going against you, you forget what the coach is saying at the side and you, you reorganise on the field. Particularly if you're a midfielder or a defender, you say, right, you, back here, you, extra man in midfield, you, we're leaving one up. We sit deeper. You, the, the players did nothing. They just continued in the same manner in which they, they started the game, thinking things were going to change. And so I've got a huge issue with that because as prof highly paid professionals, you should at least say at 2 or 3 nil, right, we need to block this midfield here, we need to sit a bit deeper, we need to leave, leave, leave one man up, and when we get a chance to break, then we can squeeze up. Yeah. If not... We try and deny the width, we try and deny the little ball through the middle, and we deny the space to run into behind. But they just carried on. And that, sometimes that's not from a coach, that's from experienced players. I've seen it. I've seen it in teams. You need organisers. You need people that understand the situation. And they just didn't have that. And Jan's right, on yesterday or the day before show, on this show, a couple of days ago, he said, Schalke, watch out for them. They're going to be in a relegation battle. But he also said it's going to be 7-0. So what does he know? Got that wrong, didn't he? Uh, Jürgen, you take a look at Leroy Sané, who took advantage of that space, didn't he, very much so, particularly in the second half. What's his potential? Could we be talking about someone who could make his way into a top five player in the world? I think he has that potential, yeah, because he has that change of pace. And the change of pace... Uh, uh, is so crucial. I mean, technically, he's very, very, very uh, uh, gifted. Um, and he's, uh, he always has an eye for his teammates. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.